One popular Denver restaurant in the Highlands neighborhood was broken into over the weekend, causing hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage. But now that restaurant is giving back to the community. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez joins us now live outside of Bardot in the Highlands neighborhood. And Ivan, the owner believes it was a former employee who broke in? And the owner tells me the employee only worked here for one day. Right behind me, you can see the front of the restaurant, that front window. Glass is completely smashed in. Some pieces are still on the ground, and that's only a piece of the damage. A place known for its good food and a gathering spot in the Highland neighborhood is left picking up the pieces after being broken into. It's a lot of things to a lot of people. Um, I think most importantly, uh, it's a place where everybody's welcome. Juan Pedro owns Bardot. He says early Saturday morning, he got a call from his cleaning crew that his restaurant had been smashed inside. Uh, walking in, it was, it was pretty shocking. I, I don't know that I've ever seen anything like that uh, before. Juan Padro says a former employee who only worked with them for one day got in through the back door with an access code. Security camera footage shows part of the destruction with plates and bottles of liquor being thrown around, windows smashed with pans, cashier systems broken, as well as TVs. You know, I want to emphasize that we're going to be open Thursday, you know, and uh, we've got somebody that's, you know, dealing with mental health, uh, you know, issues with likely no health care, and he was homeless and is homeless. Even after the damage, restaurant staff decided to give back and donate about 100 pounds of meat and produce. We had a bunch of food. You know, we get food here every day. Uh, so uh, that was going to spoil. So we found uh, places for that food and, and, and homeless shelters. Looking at around $300,000 in damage, the restaurant is getting ready to move on, welcome guests back, and get their staff working again. So it's just an act of desperation and anger, and, and uh, I think that can be prevented if we're just better as people. I reached out to the Denver Police Department, and they tell me they still haven't made any arrests in this case. And. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Now, plenty of.